Welcome to this video about Martin Morello, a man known for his incredible ability to turn his head a full 180 degrees, just like an owl. He was born in 1885 in Germany and from an early age, showed a unique talent for contortionism and body manipulation. As a young man, Martin began to showcase his talent in vaudeville acts and quickly gained fame for his incredible abilities. In this video, we will explore the life and career of Martin Morello, his unique talent, and the impact he had on the world of entertainment. We will also delve into the science behind his abilities and learn more about the medical condition that made his feats possible. So sit back, relax, and prepare to be amazed by the incredible story of the human owl. But before we get started, please make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified about our amazing upcoming informative videos. Now sit back, relax and let's go! Early Life Martin Morello was born as Giovanni Martinello on December 21, 1885, in Italy. His family moved to Germany when he was still a child. From a young age, Martin showed a natural talent for contortionism and flexibility. He discovered that he had a unique ability to rotate his head further than most people could, which would later become his signature act. As a teenager, Martin began performing in local circuses and vaudeville acts, showcasing his incredible talent for contortion and body manipulation. He quickly gained a reputation as an amazing performer, and his career began to take off. In his early 20s, Martin moved to the United States and began performing in traveling carnivals and sideshows where he became known as the human owl. He would bend his head backward to such an extent that it appeared to be almost completely behind him, shocking audiences and cementing his reputation as one of the most unusual and talented performers of his time. Despite some skepticism and criticism from those who believed his abilities were simply a trick, Martin continued to perform throughout his career, entertaining audiences all over the world with his unique and extraordinary talent. Becoming the Human Owl Unlike most of his peers, Martin Morello didn't look like a sideshow freak. To the contrary, he appeared like any other citizen until he revealed his shocking trick. That's because he wasn't born with the ability, nor was his head ever facing backward against his will. He had to train to master it, and spent years doing so. Among countless Europeans who left their countries in search of better conditions, fame, or fortune, Lorello was unique. He had dedicated three years of his life to successfully turn his head around at more than 120 degrees, satisfied with every additional inch he could muster, finding his skill in high demand. Lorello first demonstrated his act at Coney Island's Dreamland Circus Sideshow. The seaside amusement park had previously seen lion tamer Captain Jack Benavida lose one of his arms. It was here that Lorello made his name, or rather, became known as the Human Owl. The Legacy of Martin Lorello After years of traveling to cities like Philadelphia, Newark, and Patterson with Hubert's Dime Museum, Lorello was hired by the Ripley's Believe It or Not Auditorium in the 1930s. He was advertised as the only one in the world who can walk straight ahead and look straight behind. While Lorello was a star to any audience member who bought a ticket, his personal life began to take a toll. He had married a woman named Laura Precht and had a son named Alexander, but was ultimately divorced only to embark on another failed marriage. Remarkably, it culminated in his arrest, during a performance. After fathering two sons with his second wife Emily Whittle, Lorello walked out on them and never looked back. Whittle lodged a formal complaint with the police which saw Lorello promptly arrested for spousal abandonment by Baltimore police on April 30, 1931. As his head turned backward, he winked at the officers. He was standing on a platform with his back to the crowd, looking right at his audience, reported the New York Times. He winked at the audience and at the two officers. They winked back and then arrested him. He was held under $500 bond and New York police were notified. Perhaps the biggest blemishes on his legacy were accusations that he was a Nazi sympathizer. 
Having left his economically ruined fatherland shortly after World War I, it's quite likely he found Adolf Hitler's insidious calls to strengthen the nation a promising sign. Ultimately, Hitler himself was Time's Man of the Year in 1938. He was a Nazi, said former colleague Priscilla Bajano. And he didn't like the American flag. You meet all kinds on the sideshow, worse than me. Last Days and Death The latter part of Martin Lorello's life was marked by a decline in his health and career. As he aged, his physical flexibility began to wane, and he was no longer able to perform the incredible feats that had made him famous. In the 1940s, Martin settled in California and opened a restaurant. He would occasionally perform his famous head-turning trick for diners, but it was clear that his days as a full-time performer were over. Martin Morello died on December 20, 1955, at the age of 70. His passing marked the end of an era in the world of sideshows and traveling circuses, which had long been a popular form of entertainment in America. Despite his decline in popularity towards the end of his life, Martin's legacy as the human all lives on. And he is remembered as one of the most unique and remarkable performers in the history of entertainment. His unusual talents continue to captivate and inspire people today, and he remains an important figure in the world of contortionism and sideshow culture. And that concludes our video on Martin Lorello, the human owl. We hope you enjoyed learning more about his life and career and the incredible abilities that made him famous. Martin's legacy as a unique and talented performer continues to inspire and captivate people today, and his story serves as a reminder of the amazing things that humans can achieve. We hope this video has given you a new appreciation for the world of contortionism and sideshows, and a greater understanding of the science behind Martin's abilities. Thank you for watching, and please don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on fascinating people and topics.